Good morning, rise and shine. Welcome back, Luke with Premium Aquatics here with the tank series. Super, super excited today. Uh, super excited today. I've got another product you're gonna love. I know I'm gonna love, should love. I don't really know that. I'm making an assumption, but if I know the company and I know what they've got going on, I'm gonna love this product. So without further ado, Let's just jump right into it. Let's go, guys. Can you see this? Can can you? This anemone is size of a soccer ball right now. It is massive, and it's. <laughs> yeah, I had to move a couple of zoanthid frags already because he has decided. Hey, let's make buddy buddy with these and go give him a hug. Neighbor leasing to do right? No, no. <laughs> it stung the crap out of my zoanthid, two of my zoanthid frags. Had to move them over. Hopefully they'll recover nicely. So that thing is out of control. <laughs> he's going crazy. It's cool. It's amazing. But he's a little bit larger than what I'd uh, prefer because now I can't put anything there. But goes with the territory. Whatever. So anyways, let's move on. The product today we're looking at. Do, 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 do. The Ecotech MB10, yes, I'm so pumped for this. Uh, oh, what do you mean, Luke? You've already had this. We've already put this on the tank. We have, however, it is now upgraded. It has the Mobius app. Oh, shoot, it's now upgraded. It has the Mobius app. I'm so pumped for this. If you remember back in a while, back a while ago when I was talking about the Nero and MB10, I was like, hint, hint, hint. Ecotech, you need to come out with an app. I'm sure they already had it in the works quite a ways, but it only made sense that they came out with one since the Nero has one. So I'm pumped. I'm stoked. That was the one downfall, or well, there's a couple that I have with this, but the main downfall that I saw with Ecotech as opposed to like the Nero is the control ability. Uh, the controller, although great, and the modes are amazing, the fact that I had to utilize the controller to do it or get the reef link, um, instead of when you have something like the AI Nero that has the app on your phone, and, and for me, that's important. You know, if you don't like apps, you don't like doing your phone, you know, whatever, more, you know, that's fine. But for me, I love it on the app. I love that I can change modes and set up a schedule with multiple modes in a day's period. So I can do constant, pulse, and random all in a single day. To me, that's amazing. I love being able to switch it up without having to go to the controller every single day saying, okay, hey, now I want it to pulse. Now I want it to be random. Now I want to do this. So this allows you, this, uh, this Mobius app is gonna allow the same thing, which I'm stoked about. I'm so happy for it. So we're gonna get this out. We're gonna take a look at it. See if anything is different inside. I don't think there is. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll open this up. We'll get it on the bad boy. You can see on the back here, they've got lots of different modes. Reef press, lagoonal, gyre, short pulse, tidal swell, nutrition, uh, nutrient export. So they've got a lot of different options there. Uh, so if I can put all these modes into one day, I'm, I'm pumped for it. So uh, let's open this up. Let's take a look at it. Let's get in this tank and we'll go over the app then. Uh, X FYI, we got a new buddy. We got a new fish. Went to the fish store this week, uh, this last weekend. Found a neon dotty back. I said, ah, it's gorgeous. I gotta have it. Bagged it up. It's in quarantine right now, so we'll get that in here with the other one. Uh, so far, this neon dotty back is the friendliest neon in the world. Like he hangs out with all the clowns, even this the mama clown hangs out in the same cave. I'm super impressed with it. So we'll see how it lasts. But right now. Perfect. Let's get this opened up. Okay, guys, we're gonna open this box. Let's spend night. Okay, welcome to Premium Aquatics. That's what I said when I was done. Yeah. Let's okay. see how cool this is. You wanna open it up? This is gonna be amazing. Oh man. Okay, guys, this this is gonna be a wire. And it's going to have to be plugged in with this. That's the controller. So we got our, as normal, our instruction manual, all the yep. uh, units and to hook it up. 
Avery here has the controller with the dry side motor. Mm -hmm. Show them the motor. Okay, this is the motor. It's the motor, and then we have our last part, which is the propeller. Everything's normal like you would see in an MP10 on most of them. So the only change we're looking at here is our uh, firmware. So let's get this installed. We're going to take out the 6095 power head and we're going to put this in its place. Okay guys, we're going to start putting this in the tank. Okay, let's go. First one. Alright, got the Tunsi pump out. While we're there, might as well scraper this, get it cleaned up, prep for the nice new pump. What'd you want to tell him? Huh? What'd you want to tell him? It's recording. Okay guys, let's start turning this on in the tank when you put it in there. And then, I'll start touching the remote to turn it on. You just gotta move this lever. Then that makes it turn on. But not yet. All right, guys, the pump is hooked up right there. It is on the controllers down off to the side. First thing we need to do is go ahead and get out your phone or smart tablet, whatever it is, and we are going to go ahead and search for the Mobius app. Sure, you'll see it by C2 Development, and we are gonna have to download this. We'll go further into this app. Uh, next round, I'll get uh, a lot better uh, descriptions for what we're doing, but I just want to go over it real quick and just show you what the capabilities are. So I've already set it up. I won't lie. I had to do some updates on the pump, the firmware, I guess, a couple of times to get it so it could sync up. Probably my error, but it was not the most friendly to do. So um, I want to talk to Ecotech and see uh, if it was something I was doing or what was going on with it that was causing the issues, but it just didn't want to update for me for some reason. So um, anyways, I got it updated. We've got our tank plankton. Um, we've got live demo here, which basically it's gonna go into our live demo um, and you can play around with this, the flow, and we can set it. These right here basically are settings. So. If I want to hit feed mode, go into feed mode, bam, it's in feed mode. It's going to last for 10 minutes. I can tell it to stop whenever I want to. I can go into these other little settings, which those I just created just because I didn't know what I was doing. But again, we'll go over this later. I'll show you how to do everything, but you can base essentially what you can do is add different um, modes and you can create what you want to happen during these modes. So then when, if you want to go make changes real quick, I can just go and click on this and it's going to start flash mode or it's gonna start buffy mode or sunny mode or anything like that and I can turn it off. However, generally speaking, what we're gonna go into is we're gonna hit these little waves down here and it's gonna take us to this. If you realize, this looks extremely identical to the AI type of setup. Um, this is exactly how AI looks. We have our different modes around this ring. Right now we are in the green, which is a constant mode. Right up here, It'll show us the gallons per hour that we're at, which is 535.3. This is the pump we're at. And uh, of course, we can go into edit and we can edit our mode. We can go into templates. We can resume our schedule if something else is going on with it. Um, but if we, the, the cool thing about um, the Vortec and why I was so pumped about this, because it is similar to the uh, AI Nero. The only caveat to it is if I go in here and edit, Look at all these different modes that you can play with. We have constant, reef crest, lagoon, short pulse, feed, tidal swell, nutrient, te uh, nutrient transport, expanding pulse, gyre, and transition, um, which is going transitioning from one speed to another. So now, you know, where the Nero has three settings for you, where it's constant, random, or pulse, this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what, 10 different modes that you can go into and add them into your schedule right over here and tell you what, or you can tell it what you want as far as percentages, so you know how much power is um, putting into the pump, how much flow is coming out of it, how long it's gonna be, when it turns on, when it turns off. See on our timeline exactly what I have going, and that's just me throwing things together, dragging it over, 
putting it at something random and throwing it together and this is what you know I came up with and what it'll do for me like I said next weekend I'll go in depth of this app we'll go over everything but this is to me amazing all right guys uh, that's it I am super stoked for this pump um, like I mentioned we'll go over it more in detail like I said don't forget to read our book don't forget to read the manual guys listen to the kid he knows what he's talking about right so now you know we have the power the the simplicity of the Nero 5 we have the capabilities and modes of the MP10 so I'm ecstatic about this I cannot wait to get into the app so guys go check it out I'll leave a link in the description below we do have it in stock as of now so don't miss out on your chance to have this that's it for us we're gonna get out of here we're gonna go play right uh -huh. what are we gonna go do thanks for stopping by we appreciate you so much if you haven't already like subscribe hit that bell for the notification so you stay the most update on this system as well as the other videos we are putting out and We'll see you next weekend. Peace. You tell peace. 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 <laughs> see you guys. Bye.